Look at this. Holy smokes. That's insane. This is ultimate steak frites. You're gonna be able to make it with any tender cut you can find. It's gonna come with the best fries you've ever made and a super fresh steak sauce. The ultimate steak frites. More freaking epic. I used to live in Paris for a couple of years and there's a classic uh, restaurant there that's known for steak frites. It's called L'Entrecot. Today, I'm gonna be chasing after making a better version that you can make tonight. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to make a perfect steak with a ton of flavor and a bunch of texture. The ultimate steak frites that are maximum crispy outside, super fluffy, moist on the inside. The ultimate steak sauce based on the L'Entrecote Paris steak sauce, but you don't have to go to Paris and it's even easier and less ingredients. The main flavor in this sauce is like this mix between the umami of the anchovy and the acid of the caper and the lemon and the sweetness of the shallot and the butter because when you sweat the shallots or onions, they get sweeter. This is steak free. Uh, Ribeye is the classic L'Entrecote cut today because I'm doing ultimate and it's my favorite cut of meat, I'm using the deckle or the rib cap. So basically if you get a prime rib, like if you get a whole Christmas prime rib, there's like one muscle on the top. If you peel that off, that's this guy. Or if you have a ribeye and you know it has like that crescent around the side, it's just that piece. It's the best piece. I got my jewel set up and we're gonna do Two little things that I feel like are key for this steak. It's just a pre-sear and a post-sear. The first sear is really all about getting some flavor that will cruise and continue to develop while it cooks sous vide. And then the post-sear is really about getting that crunch and that crisp, so for texture, and a little contrast, so you have that crispy, crunchy outside and that really nice tender inside because of sous vide. I've got uh, oil for my fryer over here because I'm gonna make frites today, right? So I'm gonna use just a little bit of that. And this ain't regular oil, this is beef fat. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt because that salt can actually kind of dry it out if it sits too long. I like a lot of pepper. Whoa, looks like yummy beef fat. When you put stuff in hot pans, you lay it away from you. So it goes, flaps away. Okay, I don't need to sear it more than that. Done for the first sear. And then the pan, you can even turn off the heat because a cast iron pan's gonna stay hot for a long, 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 long time. I'm gonna put a little butter in. I like a little butter in there. When it cooks through the heat, I wanted that to get all toasty, toasty, toasty. Crushed garlic. There's enough water and butter to kind of deglaze the pan a little bit too. And then I don't like to cook it too much, but I like fresh thyme. Or if you like rosemary or whatever, you can do a little bit of that. Oh, dang. This is basically just flavor for the steak. And whatever steak you do, this is what you're going for here. We've got jewel running, so easy. The meat goes in the bag, the bag goes in the pot, and it's only about three quarter inch thick. It's gonna be ready in like 35 minutes, but I can just leave it almost all day, realistically. And it's not gonna overcook, it's gonna save 54 degrees but it'll just get more and more tender because some of the tough stuff, the collagen, the connective tissues will start to break down and it just gets more juicy and more tender and more savory. Whichever cut you have, you can use some of the cook guides on chefsups.com or meat cuts. You can look up your exact cut and it will tell you rare, medium rare, blah, 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 blah. In the app, you can use visual doneness so you can see the results before you even start cooking. So you get to choose, how do I like my steak? And that's a great way to go about it. <laughs> You need uh, a pot to boil them in. You're gonna peel them. You're gonna want a Ziploc bag or two because we're gonna roll them in. Uh, something to mash them. You know, so you're basically making mashed potatoes and you're adding lots and lots of this secret ingredient here, which you have in your cupboard right now probably. Cool, let's do it. I like peeling potatoes at the sink. And I'm gonna go for a kilo. So that's why you go about, you know, three quarter inch or so. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt, not a ton. How's our steak doing? Oh, it's totally fine. Nothing's happening at all, because it's sous vide. So you bring it to the boil like this, and then you turn it down, and we just hang out and let them cook until they're, 
You know, classic. Give it a little poke. The knife slides out. You're good. Did do some pureed potato trials, and they end up too gummy, like a little too sticky on the inside. Easy peasy. I'm gonna add starch. Starch is gonna make it crispy, crispy, crispy. All the french fries you're buying at the grocery store have the same stuff all over it. So I try to keep it a little bit fluffy. Like imagine if it was like a biscuits dough. So I just kind of scoop from the bottom and fold it. You just mix until it's like all incorporated. That's about it. I'm basically gonna roll out a sheet. I'm gonna put half in one bag, half in another. It doesn't have to be exact. I like to squeeze out as much air as I can. So I just do one of these. Boop, 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 boop. This is gonna be french fry gold. I promise you. That's it, this just goes in the fridge. It's hard to tell, but they're firm now. I'm going to cut them. What do I want here? I'm gonna go this long. And if some break, whatever. Take a little more starch. It'll make the outside even crispier. Now we're gonna fry the fries. 375 works just fine. You can use any oil you want. They're gonna taste a lot like whatever oil you use. If you use an avocado oil, they're gonna be a little bit avocado-y, teeny bit. Maybe you like that. For my ultimate fries for the steak frites, I like beef fat. <laughs> I'm using it because I like the flavor, it's insane. Like the original McDonald's fries were fried in beef fat and they stopped doing that a couple, few decades ago. They don't look done and that's because they're not. That's just one fry. So the oil's gonna come back up. Fries are gonna cool off for a second and they go back in for another two minutes or so, or really until they're as dark as you want them. Okay, our oil's up. So all these fries are gonna go back in. Whoop. And just another minute or two. They're getting dark quick, like brown quick. You can see like already. Ooh, getting some color. Let them keep going. You guys want time fries? Yeah. Watch it, be careful. Are you ready? Careful. You can throw garlic in there, any herbs you want. Um, I'll let that, I'm gonna turn that down for a little bit just so it hangs out. Whoa. Hot! <laughs> Steak frites it has to have a sauce. My goal with this one was how do you make the L'Entrecote steak sauce, but even easier and tastier, more vibrant. Something I don't like about their sauce style is it's just 15, 16 ingredients and like, 11 steps. So my lunch goat sauce is instead of 15, 16 ingredients, it's like 10 or 11. Still a good amount of ingredients, but you can get them anywhere. You can get them at any grocery store. First things first, butter. And a lot of it, 90 gram shallots and everything else we're gonna put in the blender. Blend it up. So for the parsley, I'm gonna do mostly leaves. Again, I'm blending it so I don't really mind and I can use these stems for something else later. The tarragon, I'm gonna pick some of the leaves. Tarragon stems can get pretty, pretty woody. Here's our yolk. Anchovy fillets, 30 grams of those. I love anchovies. 15 grams capers. Here's the thing I do with the lemons. I do this with like smoothies or when I do green juice or whatever. And again, you could do whatever you want with the peel. So you just go like, Bonk. Okay, mustard. I like a lot of mustard, but you can add none or however much you want. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. 10 G's of that. Pepper. Okay, now that I have everything measured out, turn on the stove, start cooking. You basically just cook them until they're, you know, translucent. You know, I don't want to go to brown or anything. You just want them like sweeter and soft. This is it. Whoop. You too can make this famous Parisian sauce. <laughs> This sauce is ready to use. We're gonna finish it with sauce. Ultimate steak frites. Oh yeah. This guy's been in here for a long time. It only takes like 35 minutes or so, 45 minutes to cook, you know, three quarter inch, one inch steak, really. Um, but again, we've had a long shoot day. Smells like heaven. I'm just gonna get a couple little sauce things ready and we're done, 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 done. Get some more capers. Some more acid. Some tarragon and some parsley. When the sauce is ready, we'll just throw that on right from the cutting board. 
All right, let's sear this thing. Crispy, crunchy, here we go. All that matters here is that we get a super, super, super hot, hard sear. See how that jiggle? That's how you know it's not overcooked. It's perfectly juicy meat. It's gonna be like so crunchy and juicy. What about that? I got my little capers, my parsley, my tarragon. This is all you need to do to finish the sauce. Water, if you want to thin it out. Depends on the texture. Look at this piece of meat. Oh my God, it's freaking perfect. That's a good crust, man. It's like resisting the knife. Dun, 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 dun. This is ultimate steak frites, okay? It's not steak and fries, and it's not just regular steak frites. It's ultimate steak frites. It's any tender cut that you found leveled up to the extreme, and you're never gonna have to worry about the doneness. Perfect texture, perfect flavor. The most insane French fries you've ever had. Super glassy, crispy exterior, fluffy, pillowy interior, and just like Launcher coat sauce, you have a perfect steak sauce. It's insane. And only two steps, too. This is freaking great. I'm not kidding. Holy smokes. Crazy, crazy elegant, flavorful, but super casual in a fun way. Where you yeah. Make it at home, enjoy it with your loved ones. Get more at chefsapps.com. Subscribe to YouTube, learn how to cook a great piece of meat. Bye, Jewel. It's amazing. Level it up.